one. From Oakland, California, it's time for Game Time Live presented by Verizon. I'm Larry Michael. It's the Redskins and Oakland Raiders, the 13th overall meeting between these two teams. The Raiders are 1-2. and two. The Redskins are 0-3. Oh We're at Oakland Alameda County Coliseum. It's the O.Co. Stadium, as it's known now. And this is the only stadium in the National Football League that doubles as a Major League Baseball stadium, both full-time for the A's and the Oakland Raiders, and a unique setting here in this ballpark because there is the infield that comes into play. The Redskins come into this game without a win, losing last week to the Detroit Lions, 27-20, a heartbreaker at FedEx Field. And for the Oakland Raiders, they are 1-2. and two. Their lone win coming here at the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum, defeating the Jacksonville Jaguars a couple of weeks ago. For the Redskins, a couple of updates for you. We see in front of us John Potter, the kicker. And to look at John Potter with his uniform on, practicing these kicks, got to tell you that Kai Forbath will not go. Kai Forbath practiced on Friday, and there is Kai, as a matter of fact, with the shorts with John Potter. Kai Forbath kicked on Friday at Redskins Park, delivered a 45-yard field goal during practice. Redskins traveled to Oakland on Friday afternoon, and upon arriving, they had a walkthrough on Saturday, and apparently Kai Forbath didn't pass whatever uh, examination was needed. I know he was going to practice his kickoffs, but there you see with Potter and Forbath on the dirt, and this is something the Redskins will not play on again this year. They haven't played on dirt. A lot of these players, in fact, have never played on dirt in their entire pro careers, and some of them have never played on dirt in college. I know that occasionally some of the fields you might find will have dirt because of wear and tear. But here, it's part of the atmosphere. It's part of the playing surface. The grass is lush and beautiful. And, in fact, it's a beautiful day here in the Bay Area. 75 degrees, very little wind, ideal conditions. I think once game time approaches, the sun maybe goes down a little bit. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be outstanding out here in Oakland, California. The Raiders, you know, question marks on their side as well. You had Terrell Pryor, the quarterback, who had a concussion in the last game Monday night against the Denver Broncos. Denver won that ball game. Peyton Manning had an incredible, incredible performance, 32 of 37. Raiders couldn't keep pace. And in that game, Terrell Pryor had a concussion, which means today it's going to be Matt Flynn quarterbacking the Oakland Raiders. And the Raiders have gone back and forth on that we haven't had the official word but all the reports are that Terrell Pryor will not play because of that concussion and Matt Flynn gets to start here there you see the Redskins in front of us warming up some of them have been out earlier and now with the sun beating down it's rather hot right now it's a beautiful California day no doubt about it here in the Bay Area Redskins are going into a bye week next week and after that they got a game with the Dallas Cowboys and with that in mind, coming into this ballgame, you want to get a victory here. Before you get to the bye, get at least one in the win column before heading off to Dallas the week after that bye week. I'm going to welcome Brian Tinsman in here on the sidelines in Oakland. And, Brian, uh, it is a sp- sun spank day here. We've talked about uh, Kai Forbath not playing today. You see John Potter out there. What do you hear about Fred Davis? We see that Jordan Reed is not in uniform. Jordan Reed will not play because of that thigh contusion he got against the Detroit Lions. Will Fred Davis go? Well, Fred Davis is a go today, and, uh, you know, he is still at the top of the depth chart. So if he is healthy, if he is active, you expect him to be active in the Redskins game plan. Certainly if Jordan Reed, who has been an early outlet for Robert Griffin III, is not active, they're going to need someone like Fred out there who can not only be an outlet receiver but also stretch the field. Focusing on the Redskins' defense, there is D'Angelo Hall, the playmaker. He's got a couple touchdowns so far this year for the Redskins, but the defense is rated 32nd. We've talked to Jim Haslett, uh, made a few moves, made a few adjustments, and no one proud of that 32nd ranking. What can they do to improve it here today? Well, I think the thing so far is that, you know, while they are 32nd, they've given up a ton of yards. They have been opportunistic. They have gotten turnovers, you know, D'Angelo Hall already has two touchdowns this year. So they've done well in terms of the highlight real play. What they really need today is some solid play. You know, this is 
either way, you know, whoever starts, they're going up against an inexperienced quarterback. They don't have the best receivers here in Oakland. They need to be consistent. So instead of going for the interception, they need to go for the pass defense because if the receiver catches that ball, there's a lot of speed on this offense. They can, they can take off. If they get the ball in the receiver's hands, bad things can happen. So what they really need today is solid play, not necessarily to be playmakers on defense. And the Raiders feature outstanding running back Darren McFadden. Darren McFadden, if he had not had a series of injuries over the past five years, uh, he'd be one of the number one re- uh, running backs in the National Football League. He is back healthy. Uh, he's had 100-yard games in the past. When this Raider team sees him rush for 100 yards, they are 11-2. and two. So one of the keys, I think, Matt Flynn quarterbacking, you really have to concentrate on stopping Darren McFadden because he can hurt you. And this is how this defense is built. You know, Jim Haslett talked about it this week, that their number one goal is to make any offense, especially this offense, one-dimensional. Take Darren McFadden out of the game and put the pressure on Matt Flynn to be an elite quarterback, which, you know, even though that one game in Green Bay notwithstanding, he is not an elite quarterback. He doesn't have that much experience. He hasn't even played in a couple years. And, uh, you know, he's a guy that the Redskins defense feels like if they can put all the pressure on him, if they can make him have to go out and win this game, then they have a much better chance of winning than if Darren McFadden can keep this offense balanced. I don't know if, Alex, you can swing it around and get a shot of these Redskins fans. I think you can. It is amazing the number of Redskins fans. not amazing how many fans we have around the country, but to look at this group of fans, we had our Redskins rally last night at a Redskins bar here in Oakland. Actually, it was in San Francisco want to thank the proprietors of that location go to redskins.com and get the information on where the redskins rallies will be in the future and a couple of other reminders don't forget the monday morning redskins roundup presented by verizon each day after a redskins game and that's coming up this monday at 9 a.m it's hosted by chris russell chris cooley joins him and back to the redskins pick and play Well, the Redskins get their first points of the game for their offense or defense. Submit your predictions for Redskins pick and play. You could win in a Pierre Garçon autograph photo today. Larry Michael, Brian Tinsman, taking a look at some of the Redskins fans in attendance here in Oakland. And this is a unique setting, no doubt about it, this stadium. You can see how excited those fans are. Thank you, Alex, for that look. Let's go back and back to the playing field. I want to invite all Redskins fans to a very important cause. Innova needs blood donors. Innova Blood Donor Services on October 12th at FedEx Field. Redskins fans invited to sign up for the Innova Redskins Blood Drive. Please come and help. Donors will receive an exclusive breast cancer awareness T-shirt and a chance to win Redskins game tickets. 100 pairs of tickets will be given away. That's October 12th at FedEx Field for the Redskins Innova Blood drive. So, Brian, what are some of your predictions before we hear from your colleague, Brian Gleason? What are some of your predictions here on this game? First of all, what kind of defensive performance do you think we'll see from the Redskins today? You know, I think that we, we started to see them come around in the last game. There, despite the loss, there were a lot of there were a lot of positives to be taken away, especially on defense. They finally stopped hemorrhaging yards like they were. Uh, you know, even going up against a guy like Calvin Johnson, who's almost impossible to stop. They were able to limit his production. They were able to limit the impact that a a gunslinger like Matt Stafford can have. So I think that what they're trying to do, what they will try to do today, is, uh, you know, certainly go for the sack. You know, rattle this guy. Get into the backfield. And and it's something that they've had tremendous success doing in the first quarter. But it's something that has died away in the second half. So I really, I look for a consistent performance out of a guy like Brian Arakpo, a guy like Ryan Kerrigan, who's been off to one of the best starts in recent memory. You know, I, I really expect this to be a good matchup for them. This is a get-me-over game for this defense. This is an offense that is dangerous, like I mentioned before, but it's not particularly consistent or scary. They make a lot of mistakes, and this is a good opportunity for them to come in big and, uh, and finish strong, and I think that's really the key is playing 60 minutes today. I right, appreciate Brian Tinsman from Redskins.com stopping by. Brian Gleason of the Bryans hey, is with us. And, Brian, we heard Tinsman talk about the Redskins' defense. Offensively, the Redskins seem to be picking up some speed. Give us your analysis. You've been around the team all year. What is the Redskins' offense doing right, and what could they do better in this ballgame? Well, I think what they're doing right is, uh, is is keeping after. They're never giving up. They're always going. They're uh, Whether they get behind, as they have in the previous few games uh, early, 
they're never giving up. They're staying as, as a unit. And uh, RG3 talked about it. Robert talked about it in his press conferences. They, they have that family unit in the locker room that kind of helps them stay together throughout. So what they need to do is just come out as the, as they have and when they're behind is, is come out ready to go from the first snap. Uh, you know, two out of uh, the last three games, though, they've started out with a defensive touchdown. And they need to, the offense needs to come out and establish early and keep that momentum going. They need to show that they're going to be the, the power and the driver of this game as, as an off, offensive unit. And that, that's what's going to give them the edge and the confidence early on. And if they get that, they're going to be able to just keep going and I hopefully uh, push through and make it a complete game. Usually this time of year, the, uh, the desperate team gets the W. And I would say, regardless of who you work for, you work for the Redskins, if you're winless – you got to figure you're more desperate than the team that's already got to win. Yeah, and I think it's, uh, you know, with the pressure and the, you know, the, the all eyes on you, that is what creates that desperation. I think, you know, the team, you know, there, there's those signs out here, and you see in the fans, there's that just win, baby. Just get it done. And I think they have that mindset more than uh, this team who's already put in a W. And while they're, you know, they're looking to, to get their – to right their track, and uh, the Raiders are, uh, I think the Redskins have that uh, – you know, sense of urgency that, that the Raiders just don't have right now. All right, thank you to Brian Gleason, and we'll see him on the Redskins' social media. This is a, a large stadium, but the top level behind us, you can't see it from where we're at now, the top level of the stadium has been uh, screened off. There are tops, tarps over the top part of the stadium to allow them to get to a sellout and to allow them to be able to have no blackouts here. So this game will be televised locally in the Oakland area. And I'll give you my thoughts on this ball game is neither team really on the field. You've got the kicker, Sebastian Janikowski, over to our right. And Janikowski is big-legged kicker. He's got 14 years in the league, one of the best kickers in NFL history. He's got a 63-yard field goal to his credit that ties the all-time long. Sure hope we don't see him kick field goals. Today. Maybe we do want to see him kick some field goals today. That way the Redskins are keeping the Oakland offense out of the end zone on the other side of the field let's look at john potter doesn't have a lot of experience kicking off of dirt none of the redskins do so it's a matter of making sure that you have good good footing that you're wearing the right cleat and that you know what you're doing out there and so redskins haven't had a lot of time to get ready but potter savraka and the rest of the redskins are going to have to deal with it nonetheless all right our keys to the game before we say goodbye to you from oakland california Key number one for the Redskins, I think, running the football. It's something that made them number one in the NFL, rushing the football last year. Last week showed a step up with Alfred Morris, had the touchdown run, but not getting enough carries. You want to see Alfred Morris get about 20 to 25 carries in this game. Wouldn't be bad to see Roy Hallou get a few and to see Robert Griffin the third, maybe with three or four rushes. If you see that, if you see the Redskins rush Alfred Morris 20 times or more and the rest of the guys chip in, I think that's part of the winning formula. I think turnovers are so important. We saw in the last game for the Redskins the uh, interception thrown by Robert Griffin III in the red zone, his fumble on that outstanding scramble, those turnovers. The Redskins are a minus two, and that's 26 in the National Football League in terms of turnovers. One of the keys to their success last season was forcing turnovers, not giving it away. So whoever wins the turnover battle, I know it sounds a little bit cliche, but whoever wins the turnover battle is going to win this ball game. And something we haven't seen much of this year is a fast start by the Redskins, to be able to get that offense in gear early, build some confidence. And, again, that kind of plays to the same key, number one, the running game. If you can get that running game going, if you can score early in the season, the Redskins with just one offensive touchdown in the first half this season. They've got no offensive touchdowns in the first quarter of the season, and we're four games in. This will be the fourth game today. So to get to that fast start, to win the battle of turnovers, and to run the football, to me, are the keys. I think Oakland's a pretty good football team. They've got a physical defense. They've got an offensive line that's allowed 10 sacks this year. So the Redskins, I believe, are going to get to the quarterback. Matt Flynn is not as elusive as Terrell Pryor. He's a different type of quarterback. He's a pocket passer. He's going to want to throw the football. He really doesn't have escapability. Running the football isn't part of his game plan. So the Raiders have given up 10 sacks this year. The Redskins are going to get after that. Don't forget the last time the Redskins played the Raiders, Brian Arakpo had four sacks of Jamarcus, Muscle, uh, Jamarcus Russell right in this very stadium. So that's going to do it for us. Game time is 425 Eastern time. On behalf of the crew, Alex Diamond, Jen Hickel, 
also Luke Lasorn. I'm Larry Michael. Thank you so much for watching Game Time Live presented by Verizon, and we hope you enjoy a Redskins win here in Oakland. We'll see you later.